Uh, I don't think it's just defensively. I think it's just kind of everything we, I don't know. We were a little bit sloppy coming out of our zone and, um, and that kind of translates sometimes to neutral zone and then obviously to offensive zone as well. And then in the O zone, we weren't able to sustain much pressure and kind of one and done a lot of the, a lot of the time. Um, you know, obviously special teams, we, we lost that battle. Uh, they scored more on their power play than we did on ours, and, and our penalty kill wasn't good enough. So but we'll get back on track. Yeah, they were good. They were good tonight. Um, and we weren't on our A game. And when you have one team that plays, you know, the best they got and one team that doesn't, then it's going to end up you know, lopsided. So um, at the end of the day, we know we're, we're a better team than we showed tonight. Um, and we'll get back on track here on Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, we played a lot of hockey, but, um, you know, it's – that's not an excuse by any stretch that, you know, we – uh, we just need to be better, and tonight we weren't. It wasn't our A game. It wasn't our, even our B game. But um, at the end of the day, you know, sometimes you you have bad games or tough games, and, and I'm not going to blow this out of proportion. But, you know, it wasn't our best, and it wasn't good enough to win. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll learn from it, get better, and bounce back. Oh, he's been great. He's been one of my best players, if not the best. Uh, you know, he's on nights where we're strong offensively, you know, he's made the saves that he needed to make at key times. And then when on nights where we haven't played that well, then he's found a way to either get us one point or two points. So he's been great for us. And, and uh, you know, I think tonight uh, we, we lost some coverages on some, you know, face off plays or D zone coverage uh, where it just, Normally, we got that all sorted out. Tonight, we didn't, and uh, it wasn't on him. Well, I asked if it was reviewable because I was 100% sure that it wasn't my stick to hit him. Uh, but as a two-minute minor, it's not reviewable. If they had to call the four-minute, uh, penalty, then they would have been able to review it and they would have been, been able to see, but you know, it's, it happens fast for them. And I, I understand that it's just frustrating when, you know, it wasn't you that caused that necessarily, you know, obviously it's a stick lift, but unfortunate kind of uh, sequence there. And, and, you know, I'm glad it didn't cost us, uh, you know, an early, um, you know, getting behind early, but that is what it is kind of a strange play and we're able to get back on track. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I just thought they were the quicker, more determined team tonight. Like, they've been going through a little stretch here. They've lost three of their um, last four at home, missing some top guys. They got Bergeron back, and they were a hungry group. It's exactly what I expected or we expected out of them tonight. And um, But, you know, it wasn't our – most competitive effort and you know aside from our top line I just didn't think we had a lot of guys going that were gonna that were able to like accomplish any ozone time or scoring chances you know so they had a really good night ours not so much and that's what happens yeah yeah that was exactly it. Like we were, I, I had no problem with the shots we gave up even in the first period. We didn't get any extended ozone time except for that top line. Um, they got the power play where they racked up a bunch of shots, a lot of um, shots from the perimeter, which is part of their game plan. But I didn't see anything real dangerous in the first period that we gave up. We end up down one nothing. Um, except they had a flurry at the end of the period. I shouldn't say they didn't get anything. They did have a couple chances, but so did we. Um, 
second period kind of started out more of the same. They build the lead to two nothing. And then we kind of got a little bit of life. Really, it was our top line. We starting to get uh, get things going for us. And um, we get in, in within one. And that's sort of like the time, what was it? Five, six minutes to go in the second. I'm thinking, yeah, okay, this is, we got the six, seven minute push here to, to end the period. And uh, they score off the face off play when we missed our coverage. And then they score again on the puck that stays in the zone that we turned over once or twice. And, you know, that was pretty much it. You know, at that point, um, we were going to have to have a really good third period to win. We did. I want, I want to see him win the possession battle. I want to see him play more time in the offensive zone than they do in the D zone, you know, whether they score every night or not, like you can't go out and, and play in your D zone and not get any ozone time. It's a negative influence on our team. It ruins momentum. It's like, so it, the reality of it is, is, I mean, if you're checking our minutes every night and we got guys playing six, seven minutes, um, because we're trying to scrap together one line out of those, out of the, you know, two lines that we have. And again, tonight, like we, like we, we have to be better. Like, you know, the other teams are playing four lines and we have to be able to put them together and, and make sure we can play four lines. And, and that I find as a coach on some nights, I'm, I'm not getting that. I mean, it's just discipline. It's what it is. Discipline takes one in the neutral zone, one in the offensive zone against one of the best power plays in the league. You know, can't do it. Uh, we're not making any excuses, travel, none of that. It, it just is what it is. You got to find everyone's going to have these, you know, stretches in their schedule that uh, can be difficult traveling, but, you know, we've, this trip has been we've been staying over and you know it's been a pretty fun trip it's been you know we, we've had our rest and the one o'clock games are a little bit different preparation um and and tonight you know like i said it, it I, I think they played really well like we we came back back on them at home after they got a lead and, and sort of turned the table in the game um was hoping we were going to be able to do that after we got that one to make it 2-1. You kind of felt like our, our bench came alive, that we were going to push for it. Uh, but making the mistake on the, on the face-offs, a big goal against, and then, you know, they get a little bit of life and get another one before the period's over. I was hoping to come out of that period 2-2 and then make a big, uh, strong push in the third after weathering the storm, especially in the first. But it didn't happen tonight, and I think that's more – um, because of how well they played, and they, they knew, and, and, and we just we just weren't right at the same level and, and hunger that they were at after going through what they've gone through. They they've been you know under the gun here for a little bit and have had some struggles, and this was their team's response to their uh, coaching staff and, and what they needed to do tonight, and ours wasn't there. Thanks. Mark.